In this video, we're doing an iPhone 17 Pro Max charging speed test, comparing all the official Apple chargers currently being sold. So for wired charging, we have the 20 watt adapter, the 35 watt adapter, and the new 40 watt adapter. And for wireless charging, we have the latest MagSafe charger that can charge up to 25 watts that we're gonna pair with a 35 watt adapter so we can take advantage of its fastest charging speeds. We're using the very same iPhone 17 Pro Max for all four of these tests, starting from totally dead for all four for tests. And we have no charge limits or charging optimizations enabled to ensure the phone charges straight up to 100% as fast as possible for all of these tests. So something to keep in mind with wireless charging in comparison to wired charging on iPhones is wireless charging is usually always going to be slower than wired charging. Even with the latest MagSafe charger we're testing in this video that's capable of charging up to 25 watts and we're using a 35 watt brick with it so it can charge as fast as possible you could see the wired 20 watt charger is still charging considerably faster. Wireless charging is just less energy efficient, more energy escapes throughout the process, resulting in the charging process taking longer. In terms of the wired chargers, you can see the 35 and 40 watt adapters do offer a solid speed boost in comparison to the 20 watt adapter. However, the 35 watt adapter in comparison to the 40 watt adapter performs pretty much identical. So if you already own Apple's 35 watt adapter or even their 30 watt adapter that they used to sell, which won't perform much different, I definitely wouldn't go out and buy the new 40 watt adapter for the reason of charging speed. The only benefit of the new 40 watt adapter in comparison to the 35 watt adapter would be the 40 watt adapter's smaller and more portable design, but as a result, you only get one USB-C port on it, as opposed to the two USB-C ports you get on the 35 watt adapter, which could be very useful to have in certain situations. And guys, as a video content creator, having easily accessible file storage is a necessity. And the Ugreen NAS DH2300, which sponsored today's video, solves so many of the frustrations that I have with typical cloud storage, such as high costs and limited storage options. Ugreen's NAS works like the cloud, however, However, it stores all your data locally safely in your own hard drives. You're able to upload, manage, and access your data on your local network from any of your devices. Thanks to its two drive bays, it has storage space up to 60 terabytes, which is likely more than you'll ever need. To give you a little context of how much this is, you can store up to 20 million pictures, 40,000 movies, or 62 million files. Ugreen's NAS is also compatible with a wide range of third-party hard disk drives. Uploading files to the NAS is considerably faster than uploading to Google Drive or iCloud, as it uses your local network speed, not your internet upload speed. It even features a 1GB E network port with a whopping 125MB per second transfer speed, which can transfer a 1GB file in just a few seconds. And using the Ugreen NAS app, you can have your iPhone photos automatically back up to the NAS. You can also store Time Machine backups of your Mac on the NAS for safety keeping. You'll be fully set up and running with the Ugreen NAS in just 10 minutes, as the setup process is as easy as can be. You can also quickly connect to the NAS using NFC on your iPhone and manage your files right from the Ugreen NAS application. You're able to set different permissions for different accounts, which massively improves file sharing and workflow efficiency if you're managing files with multiple people. So if you're looking to make your data and file storage workflow easier and cheaper than ever before, click on the link in the video description down below to check out the Ugreen NAS DH2300 and use the code in the video description down below to get 20% off the same price as Black Friday. Big thanks to Ugreen for sponsoring this video. So as we reach the end of the test here, the MagSafe 25 watt charger with the 35 watt brick is the only remaining test still going. As much as wireless charging and MagSafe are very convenient, it's not the fastest way to charge your iPhone by a long shot. If you charge overnight, of course it's not going to be an issue, but if you need a quick charge in a pinch, wire charging anywhere around 30 watts or above is undeniably the best way to go for speed. So I'd say if you have a 20 watt or higher power adapter for your 17 Pro Max, you're in pretty good shape for fast enough charging. If you want the fastest speeds possible, again, anything 30 watts or above will likely perform pretty similarly with the 17 Pro Max here and give you those really fast speeds. In comparison to some other phones on the market, iPhones still charge pretty slowly, taking over an hour, but throughout the last 
several years, Apple has been making it a little bit better each generation, slowly but surely. And guys, that just about wraps it up for this video. Let me know down below in the comments what charging solution you use and what device you're using. Thank you all so much for watching, and of course, as always, I'll catch you in the next one.